Hello friends, I'm Sambit before you and I'm gonna show you how to derive rocket equation in a much simpler and much convenient way so that you can also understand. So before going to the derivation, I'm gonna tell you some basic laws or concepts so that you can grasp it very easily when I'm going to derive. So first momentum, what is it? Momentum is the product of mass and its velocity. It is having a mass m. This body is having mass m. Okay, and it's going in a velocity v. The product of mass and its velocity is called what? Momentum. Fine. So consider it as a rocket. Everyone knows that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. That is the Newton's third law. So rocket also burning its fuel and as an exhaust it's throwing up so that rocket is also going in a uh, upper direction or you can say it's going to outer space fine so taken into account of momentum into this rocket equation this is the rocket having mass m this is the uh, fuel which is going to burn as an exhaust in an opposite direction so that rocket can proceed our space. Fine. These are the concept. We are going to derive rocket equation to this. Fine. Focus. We are having a rocket of mass m naught, which is the initial mass of it, and uh, in the time t, which is equal to zero, it's having its velocity zero. Okay. The initial velocity, which is zero, and mass m naught in case of t zero. Second case where the rocket is having mass m, the fuel started burning. This is where the exhaust which are coming out in the opposite direction in which the rocket is proceeding, which is Vg, and the rocket is proceeding in velocity v. It's having m now the mass in time equals to t. Okay, now as I have told, momentum as the rocket proceeds, uh, a mass dm, small mass dm, is included in it, uh, and the mass which is drowning through it while rocket is proceeding. That mass is the mass of the fuel, which is not positive, which is negative because the rocket is losing its mass. Now, Vg, it's also in opposite direction. But as the rocket is drowning its fuel or losing its fuel as dm, it's gaining small velocity dv. And it's the time when the time equals to t plus dt dt is the small change in time dm is the small change in mass which is losing and dv is the small velocity small change in velocity which is rocket which is gaining okay now coming to the to, uh, conservation of momentum so the conservation of linear momentum is the According to the principle of it, the linear momentum of mass m of the rocket and the uh, velocity of the rocket equals m minus tm. The mass of the rocket is losing as the fuel is drowning out and it's gaining velocity v plus dv and dm minus vg vg is the velocity of the exhausted gases exhausting gases which is in the opposite direction as the rocket proceeds by splitting it mv plus mdv minus dmv minus dmdv minus vg dm as we can see this dm and dv are so 
small values so the product of it dm dv is negligible so we are not considering it now here comes the equation this two are similar we are getting v d m plus v g d m now this is the first equation you get now when the rocket has gone far away from the earth the velocity of the exhaust gases with respect to the earth becomes irrelevant we can take the relative velocity of exhaust gases with which uh, to the respect of the rocket is u okay now uh, relative velocity i can show you a demonstration suppose i am riding a bike at a speed of 20 km per hour and another bike which is behind me is driving his bike at 30 km per hour so i am at 20 km per hour he is in 30 km per hour and suppose i am turning my head and i am seeing that he is approaching me at the speed of 10 km per hour what is it that is relative velocity so me okay i am the driver i am watching behind he is approaching me at the difference of v2 as i am the reference and he is coming towards me same we can apply in the rocket it is the rocket the exhaust is going backwards in opposite direction not in this direction it's going opposite to the rocket's direction okay so this is the m it's going towards outer space it is coming towards the earth which is the opposite to the rocket's direction it's negative okay now coming towards the relative it. velocity now rocket is the reference and the exhaust is going from the rocket rocket is the reference and the exhaust is going from it fine hope you got it why i have taken this this is the relative velocity and here it comes the second equation of it fine now going through it from the first equation as i have replaced it with the relative velocity so the first equation becomes this this is the new term now dv equals this we can take it as third equation now dv equals minus u dm by dv fine so by integrating it with the initial velocity and final velocity of the rocket and initial mass of m dm dv we are integrating this you are getting it right now v minus v0 and after integrating it uh, uh, we can get sorry this is not dm dm by m fine this is gm by m now log m m to m naught log m by m naught now v equals v zero plus u log m naught by m This is the rocket equation. And 
if you have to find the constant so what we can do in case of the time t0 okay the time t0 the equation gives the velocity of the rocket at any time t this is the equation which can give you the velocity of the rocket at any time t when its mass is m uh, now considering the time equals t0 uh, which is 0 only so v the velocity the initial velocity which is 0 at time t log e um, like this as per the numericals you can take this is the most useful equation for the numericals in our daily life this is for the rocket now a term is the burnt out speed what is this this is the speed of the rocket or speed of the rocket or the speed attained by the rocket when the whole of the fuel of the rocket has been burnt we can take it out as VB is the burnt out speed which from this equation only we are taking M0 by MR now what's MR MR is the mass of the empty container of the rocket after draining its whole fuel okay this is the only rocket empty container empty container after drawing out the fuel we got the equation like 2.303 u log 10 m naught by mr by this we got so thrust on the rocket what is thrust thrust is the only force of the rocket okay thrust uh, so what is force force is mass into acceleration so from the third equation equals from the third equation itself we can drive the thrust uh, how will you approach this thing to uh, the force which is nothing but the thrust so mass into the acceleration as I have told you uh, as I said mass into acceleration so to convert this thing into acceleration we have to divide dt dt dividing on both sides of it we can get this thing as a which is nothing but mass into acceleration which is the force dm by dt this this is the thrust on the rocket at time t so ignoring the negative sign we find that the thrust on the rocket at any instant is the product of velocity of escape of fuel gases the rocket and the rate of combustion of the fuel at that instant this is the escape fuel gases uh, product of the velocity sorry the product of the velocity of escape gases of the rocket and so with respect to rocket and the rate of combustion of fuel at that instant this is the rate of combustion of fuel okay that's fine. all you saw that's rocket equation in a much simpler and easier way so that you can understand but note that if gravity of the effect of gravity on the motion of rocket were taken into account upward thrust of the rocket would have decreased by mg that is the weight of the rocket uh, but however because of very large amount or the quantity of u and dm by dt which is the rate of combustion of fuel uh, the effect of gravity is negligible in this case but it's not negligible in reality i am neglecting it for our convenience to derive the equation so that's all some bit here thank you